fig. Glorious fig. Ah, oh, hello. I'm in a, a neighbor's plot of land just around the corner. And why am I here? Bamboo, reeds, reeds. <laughs> I forgot all the exact word for it again. Ah, oh, you know, the reeds. Um, there's a lot of them here and they're huge. I know he wants to remove all of it. And he said I could take what I wanted. Unfortunately, I would have to leave it for a while because it's green at the moment. He has, however, taken some of it down already. I have looked at it. There is a possibility that this is usable. I need to, well, just dig down in this pile here and have a look. I do need to remove all that stuff off of it. But you never know, there might be, there might just be enough to possibly cover the roof area. That would be fantastic. We'll get stripping on this before it gets too hot. And I think I've been beaten by that one, but uh, before I start sweating. Well, that's a good start. At least I know it's long enough. And it'd be absolutely amazing if this actually works out, as long as they're all straight enough. Don't think I've got enough to do this whole bit here, but at least I have enough to get going. And if I need to get more later, I'll do that. Just be nice to see a section sorted out. Next thing I've got to do, and I'd rather do it here when I can do it in the shade and not out in that field is remove all of this stuff get it nice and clean so we're doing that for a while gloves on Really love it up on this roof. It's such a nice little area. Not so much in the daytime during the summer, but absolutely in the evening and then in the winter during the day. And uh, well, I stepped away from the house because this morning I thought it was a great idea what I was doing, but realistically time is money. We've got to get that house finished. And uh, well, if I was doing it here, it would be a completely different thing. But over there, no, I want to be back here so I can spend time with my dogs and concentrate on this house. So I went out, got a roll of the, um, read you can get bamboo here by the way but it's about three times more expensive so i've gone for what the portuguese have traditionally been using up to now and uh, it works so i'm not going to uh, pay more for something that i don't need that will speed the process up and i can get it in position in the next couple of days and get that roof completely finished wise choice to make i think so i'm gonna chill out spend a bit of time with the dogs have a spa and i'll see you in the morning
Come on, guys. I'm really happy with how that has turned out so far. I've got to do the filling in the ends. As you can see on the ends there, I need cementing in. And just finishes it off. Then I'm going to go to the top, halfway up there and in that direction, I need to go from the other side and just start tidying up the uh, tiles that were already up there, replacing some of the broken ones. I mentioned, I think it was last week or the week before about the roof snaking a little bit. But now that I've seen it completely up, I think that's worked out pretty damn good. So I'm gonna turn my attentions next to the chimney there and uh, then this section. Uh, yeah, why did I do this? Because I uh, had some leftover terracotta paint from the previous house. I think it's a different brand to the one we were using in the village, but this bus does get ridiculously hot. And I wasn't planning on still being in this bus right now, but we started the village house. So everything came to a grinding halt here. It does go with the cream. Uh, so we'll see if that makes a difference, even a tiny difference in the temperature in there during the day. I know it's not white, but it's what I had and I didn't want to go out and buy something. And then, well, it's just not worth it at this point in time. We'll see how that works. I could have put a cover over there as well. Same answer. Um, yeah, we'll see. Right. That lemon just is not doing anything. It's been there now since, what, November? I should really just take it off, but I like it. Definitely going yellower. Yeah, it's not in the best condition, but I'm pretty confident we can make this look as good as new. I've got to make sure that around the base, uh, when we have the rain, that the water will flow around the chimney. That's one of the most important things I need to make sure of. And that means I need to spend a little bit of time just focusing down there. I think I'll do as original, there were tiles running along the side of the chimney. So I'll place those back in and then uh, we'll go from there, get some cement in there. Then over the top, I'm gonna to be using a Mates 19 and something else that's harder over the top of that. And then we'll get it painted, but it'd be really nice to see this sorted out in the next couple of days. Yeah, I definitely want this sorted out before the weekend. There's quite a lot of work here, but you can see what it looks like now. And we'll come back to that. Some of you may have noticed there was a uh, acro propping this up. We put that in at the very beginning because we weren't sure how it was gonna hold up. We didn't want anything to fall down on our heads. We will be coming back to that. I don't think it's a problem. I will be pointing it and making sure it's all good. Inside here though, it's not in bad condition. I like that. Someone on the previous video said she'd take it out and put a spa in there. It's not a bad idea, but that's for the next owner to deal with if they want to do that. Me personally, I kind of like the character of having this, even if you're not going to use it. It just looks kind of nice, but yeah, it will be what it will be eventually. You never know. It might be back in working order. Someone might love baking bread and stuff. Anyway, does need a little bit of TLC around here, but it will look good, hopefully, in the next week. Yeah.
So the trough part of it is sorted. The tiles on the roof obviously will sit over there, but I want it all to dry properly first. I do know the water will run away from there. That's obviously the most important thing, the key part of this. That's all looking pretty smart. Come back tomorrow, let that dry, and we'll go over it with the other product. Maybe another two coats before I can paint that. I'll get in out of the sun. Morning, Friday morning. Boy, how time goes, it's so quick. It's very disconcerting. <laughs> Just thought I'd mention this now because someone's gonna leave a comment, aren't they? Uh, yeah, I was walking the dogs earlier and I forgot to put my work boots back on. Um, <laughs> don't know about anyone else, but in these sort of temperatures, especially when you're working and you're sweating all day, my feet with these straps and whether it be flip-flops or these, uh, just cuts into my feet so I have to put socks on. So much more comfortable, but it doesn't make it any cooler. When I'm not working, I don't wear socks. Motivational chat for the morning. Do a good job, best you can, don't fail, and hurry up, it's hot. quick pit stop cool down a tiny bit so far so good taking shape yeah that's next but there's only a tiny bit left. Decide where I'm going to finish that. When I mix up another load in a bit. Saying that, I think what I'm going to do is just hold back on that little section there until the roof tiles are on because then when I do the top finishing coat, it can be blended in with those roof tiles. And if I want to change the shape of that in any way, then uh, 
it will be clearer when those tiles are on. Someone asked if I still had the holding tank and is it still in, uh, in usable condition? Absolutely, it hasn't fallen apart just yet. Of course, it's gonna be completely empty in there, full of leaves, but I will be coming back to that when I'm back here. Saturday morning, got up, low cloud, and definitely fell felt like a little bit of rain of course it burnt off immediately but it was really nice it has dropped the temperature a little bit which has made it a lot more comfortable so i want to get that chimney sorted out and then i'm going to do underneath the roof and get that all sorted out so we can tick something off Sorry. Oh, no thanks. I've just had one. I get too high with coffees. Mm. Get the shakes. Well, I'm going to see how you do it. To learn how to do you do it. Yeah. Buy a, a first layer of cement and then you put the... I use this stuff which is MH19, which is a lime cement. And I wet the wall, cut this out and stick it on. Okay. And then I go over it again. So it's uh, this has had one coat and you can see I've gone over it. And it just covers it okay. and then this one and then I'll, I'll go over it again and inside we use uh because this is also a watertight as well so it's got other stuff in it to make it good in the elements but there's also one for interior which is uh ms 20 okay. and that's the same as this but it doesn't have the exterior barrier because you don't need it and that goes on exactly the same just online researching and watched videos and I've asked people I'm looking forward to tidying up the floor area around here so uh, last few bits that I want to do today is uh, as I've got some stuff already mixed up is concentrate on where the bricks are there's a column down that end that I want to cover over because that looks a little bit horrible to see in the bricks and obviously this area around here I want to smarten up this section I'm going to do next week but if I can do that I've got one more beam I need to cut out put that up and the last couple of bits of the uh, ceiling get on with the other bit now and then I'll come back to this tidy it up a little bit make my life a little bit easier when I do the final coat next week oh change of plan I really don't like that so I'm gonna go around the arch sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't trial and error but now I see it <laughs>
Right. Uh, this is one of those things, the exposed bricks, that if you leave it, it really stands out. It may not come across that way, but as soon as I walk down the entrance and look this way, that's all I see. So it's really good to get that covered. But I'm not going to put you through the punishment of watching me do it. Let's just see what it looks like when I've done it. <laughs> that's a bit of an anti-climax, isn't it? It's only had the first layer on there and I'm going to have to come back and do the finishing, but we got it covered. So I'll put up the last beam and we got the bamboo to the end. I've got one more meter to go, which is above my head. And uh, I'll do that on Monday because it's getting late in the day now. I'm showing you that gap up there because I'm going to be filling that in. And I'm going to be doing that early part of next week, all the way along here, just to smarten it up. And whilst I'm doing that, I've already mentioned this before, I'm going to whoop, fill in all of this lot here so it's uh, got a nice finish to it and uh, well all this stuff here i'm going to stop calling it reeds i'm just going to call it bamboo i know it isn't but it's easier for me to say all the bamboo here has been cleared up i am going to go around here with a little duster get rid of all the cobwebs and re-oil those beams they've already been done last year but i'm going to do it again why not that beam will tackle that but overall i'm very happy with how that's turned out and i have to say it was a good call to do that above the uh, arch here I think that looks a lot tidier whether I continue all the way down there or not I'm not sure I'm going to hold back until Monday Tuesday and Wednesday because I'm going to be tackling this area in here and I'm going to be doing some pointing and some rendering and that will dictate to me really what I'm going to do with that now I have gone over this again since I was videoing it and I'm pretty happy with how that's turned out above there so I may not need to do any more to it and while I had some stuff mixed up mixed up I decided to do the pointing around here. Now I know the bricks are kind of hidden at the moment. That's just the um, the fact that I had a sponge on it and it's gone all over the bricks. So I'm going to bring a, a small wire brush on Monday and uh, get that all all tidied up so you can see the bricks properly, or anyone can see the bricks properly. So that's pretty good. We have got now the ceiling done, the roof done. We've got the chimney ready to paint. And I'm really happy with how that turned out. My rendering has definitely improved since I've been in, up here uh, on this house. And the uh, bamboo is up, which is really cool. So I reckon, end of next week, my goal is to get 95% of this courtyard dealt with. Not going to deal with the floor until the very end because I don't want to keep moving stuff. The tiles that are over there, they'll be going above the roof or on the roof in the garage. So when that's done, we'll clear this out, but I'm going to get the jet wash around here and make this all look lovely. 95% done next week, leaving just the stones. That's my goal. And before I disappear, I want to show you something else because we haven't been in the house for a couple of weeks and the bathroom is so close, so close. It just needs a door and a cupboard door and well, the whole house now just needs the skirting boards, but oh, it's getting close. All cleared out in here. Oh, so everything is working basically. And I couldn't be happy with it. I think it looks really nice. What's left in here now is to get the skirting boards everywhere around the house. So it's been cleared out so that we don't trip over anything and James is going to be tackling the skirting boards. We still need to put the trimming on the steps and that is waiting for us down there. Really happy to see it cleared out, I have to say. And uh, yeah, bathrooms, bedroom, I keep calling this the bathroom is cleared out, ready for the skirts. Just take it that everything needs skirting boards on it. We need to get doors on the bedroom and the bathroom and I'll come back to that, but we need the wardrobe or the cupboard door putting on there. James is going to finish off around the front door, flooring area and the door. It's looking really good. Going up into the mezzanine, the flooring now has been oiled. I'm not going to step on it because I think it's still wet. And uh, wow, got a light up there as well. You can see it. Uh, yeah, and down there somewhere. I can step one up. I'm loving that. Right. What else? The bathroom. That's why I was coming in here. 
look, I can't get me out of it, unfortunately. You're gonna have to put up with that, but the bathroom now looks like a bathroom. And I couldn't be happier with that. I think it looks really good, really good. It's all plumbed in, it's all working. We've got a light on the mirror. Bump. Yeah. 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 I think that's a switch on there as well. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Really happy with that, really happy. So, um, we are so close, aren't we? Turn all the lights off. Oh yeah, I think I left the one up there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back up there and turn that one off. Anyway, oh, what a relief. Right, 95% of the garage next week. Hopefully the majority of the skirting boards, the kickboards will be, skirting boards will be down next week and just running around, touching everything up. We are somewhere in the region of two, two and a half weeks away from finishing this house. Oh, I'm so excited. Right, bye for now. See you next week. Take care and stay positive. Yeah,